This march of progress inevitably affected the turf cutting, for around that time someone invented a turf cutting machine, capable of cutting more turf in an hour than a man with a spade could have done in a week. This ingenious machine dug the peat from the ground and deposited it in four neat rows. All that was needed now was plenty of sun to dry the turf. These would dry very hard. This particular machine is the property of John Linton from near the town of Kilray. But before any cutting can begin, the tractor has to be fitted with double wheels. This is to give a good grip in the moss and to prevent sinking if the weather is bad. Cutting with a machine always started a lot later than the man with the spade, for it was May or June before the ground was hard enough to allow this heavy tractor to operate. However, the machine cut turf always dried a lot quicker than the spade cut ones. Double wheels have to be fitted to the front as well. The tractor is a 1980 same, 82 horsepower and made in Italy. John bought it in 1984 for £6,500. It is air cooled and never gave any trouble. The cutting machine itself is a Taka Turf Master and was made in 1975 by Tom Maguire Engineering of Mahara. The last time it was used was in 1990, so 15 years later John's son Philip is hopeful that it will still work. The gearbox from a Bedford lorry must be kept filled with oil and is fitted to the power shaft of the tractor. It drives this ogre which lifts the peat from the moss and forces it through the pipe and into four smaller pipes which leave the finished product on the ground. John first got this machine 30 years ago and for the following 15 years was busy cutting plots of turf for people around Kilray and as far away as the Gary Bog near Balamoney where he remembers in 1984 cutting 134 plots and working both day and night. The moss where Philip is working now is called Tala Banks, just outside the village of Tamlet Acrilly. These turf are a brown colour, as most lowland turf are, but they will dry out black and will burn well. The opening made by the machine as it digs the turf up will be covered over by the big double wheels of the tractor. This plot of turf will produce about 150 bags and, weather permitting, will be ready for home in three weeks' time. The working career of the mechanical turf cutter was a short one, for, like the flax pulling machine 20 or 30 years earlier, it arrived on the scene right at the end of the turf cutting era. If the burning of turf had remained popular for heating and cooking, who knows what kind of machines might have evolved. Indeed, it is likely that these days Drying devices would have been built into the cutting machine and it would not be an impossible dream to think that you could have been cutting your turf in the morning and drawing them home in the evening. Sadly, however, those days are gone forever and the turf cutting machines, like the turf spades and barrows, are now lying rusting in the back of some farmer's shed, unlikely ever to be brought out again.